Hello everybody, it's Easy's Babies. Um, I'm trying to get comfortable, but I got this boy sitting in my seat. So Okay, you see him in his PJs. Come on, Junior. I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, so there he go. In his PJs and his little Mickey Mouse shoes. Uh -oh. I'm right there by my feet. Okay, so we got baby pickles today. Um, I just posted the video. Y'all, y'all see it's crooked. Okay. I gotta put some pictures up behind this chair. But I posted a video just a minute ago. I totally forgot, you guys, so much been going on. I totally forgot to post a video that I took um, Pickles to the park with me. Um, I didn't make no video, but me and my fiance um, over, what was it, Friday, I believe? Hmm, excuse me. I believe it was Friday, we took Junior and Pickles to the beach with us. My fiance mentioned it. He was like, get the kids, get Junior and, and Grace. We're finna go to the beach. I was like, oh, okay. So they went with us um, down by the lakefront. And, you know, we just sat there, laughed, you know, enjoyed each other's company. Um, Junior was watching Baby Shark on YouTube and we was just chilling. It was a lady, uh, some old ladies there, you guys. And, you know, she was in her car seat. So she had somewhere to sit. Junior was sitting on the table um, that we were sitting at. He was sitting on top of the table part. And let me tell you guys, she was you know, very intrigued. She seriously wanted to know, is that baby real or not? Because she just kept staring. She just kept on staring. So, today is supposed to be a little chilly outside. Um, I don't know if I wanna go walking. Right now, my stomach is irritated, swolled, from something that I ate. So right now, I don't feel like I wanna walk. But that will change in due time, I know. I'm gonna put her this Welcome to the World little pink. She got, I think they got another one in a different color and it's, it's a preemie, but this one is newborn. So she finna wear this. It's got a little bow in the front. So she finna wear that while I talk to you guys. So the last video I made, I was at a new park. So, you know, I was talking about my mental health and you know, it, it, it's gotten a lot better because, ooh, the other medication they had me on was just over the top, literally. It, it literally had me wigging out. I um, even apologized to my fiance. I'm like, I'm sorry. I, I could tell a big difference on this medication than on the one I was just previously on it. It literally had me tripping, <laughs> like literally from the moment I woke up to the moment it was time to go to bed. My mind was just really, really not having it. So I 
I'm really glad to be starting to feel better. I did take a mental um, health leave from work because I really didn't want to quit my job. I, you know, I like my job, but emotionally going through different, going, being put on different meds, trying to figure out what's working and what's not. The um, outcome of trying to work in the midst of that happening is really, really, really hard. Really hard. So, um, I'm glad that my boss was uh, more than understanding when it came to giving me, you know, as much time as possible as I could take off um, so that I could get my affairs and things in order. But, um, but like I was saying, I'm, I'm really glad to, her head not hanging, you guys, if it looked like that, she just got, she's leaning on my, on my leg, so her neck is literally underneath my leg or hanging, holding on like that. So it's not, yeah, it's not pulling on her neck. Cause I'm looking at her and she literally looked like me, like her head is just dangling from my leg. And it's really not, she just looked like that. She being so over dramatic right now. But you know, when we were at the park, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I got sidetracked. When we were at the park, um, the wind blew and I was drinking a Red Bull. She was in our car seat. Well, not the park, but I mean the, the lakefront when um, me and my fiance had went. And let me tell you that the wind blew my Red Bull and, and splashed all over her. I had to give her a bath and wash her hair because the Red Bull fell in her face. It fell in her hair. It was just, it was crazy. When it happened, my fiance was like, you wanna take her back to the car real quick? And, you know, wipe her down? I'm like, no, nah, because I didn't even bring the wipes. I had to use her, um, one of her little blankets to wipe, to, um, you know, mat the Red Bull off of her. But I was like, dude, she got to get a bath. I got to give her a bath. And I'm just not giving her a bath. Well, yesterday. Saturday, she had a bath because it's now Sunday. Where is that on your sock? That was still in there, showing your little toes up. So yeah, that is why she had to take a bath yesterday because apparently the wind wasn't too happy about my drink and knocked it completely over onto her. Cause I had it on the table and she was on the floor, on the ground in a car seat. And it, when it knocked over, it spilled directly in her direction. I was like, You know what, I'm not even gonna put this on her right now because I just think I might put that that um, sleeper on her. And yeah, and this has mittens on it, so I'm going to take those off of her. Yep, I leave her little hands hanging out of her shirt. They'll eventually go all the way in there. But she got this nice, I like this onesie. It's thick around the sides because it's a preemie. So it looks, it looks different. I don't know, I like this. But yeah, guys, so I had a lot of, uh, a lot of random things making me go, really crazy over the um past couple of well give it give or take about a month of not rational behavior thinking outburst crying spells yeah it was crazy 
I could not sit here and be this calm as I was a month ago. The medication they had me on had my mind unwired. It was just doing the most. And I felt it and it was like living inside of me. I, I could not, I felt like I, there was nothing I could do. I couldn't even control the emotions that I was feeling. I couldn't even explain. Like now I can better explain to my fiance, you know, the, the frustration I was feeling um the disconnect i was feeling but before i really couldn't talk about that I, I literally would just break down and start crying so i've been on a new medication for about about a week the first couple of days i felt really sick my head was it was rocking it was hurting I didn't feel like I wanted to eat anything, even though I was hungry. Um, yeah, but then after that week, um, I was a little irritable and agitated off the medication. And the doctors had said that that would, you know, happen. I would be a little, even the pharmacy said it, you know. You might be a little agitated or irritable. And I'm like, what? I'm already going through stuff. I don't need to be going through anything else at the same time. So, um, these past couple of days, it's, it's been a tad bit of a challenge. It hasn't been severe where I couldn't control the emotions. Um, not like it, it was like a month ago, you know, it, I still, I was able to control it, but I could feel it in my chest, just brewing. So, day by day, it started to get better. It is, it started to get better, and I'm glad because I felt like I was losing a grip on reality. Um, people at work seemed, it seemed like every time I went to work, I, I was stepping into a war zone. I felt so combated and so, uh on edge that I wasn't in a playful mood when my employees walked up to me and tried to talk to me or say good morning or, you know, I'll say good morning to my employees, but I'm like, good morning and I'm gone. They want to stop and chit chat and I'm looking like, no. But so I'm hoping now when I go back to work, I'll be a little more eased at work. Um, yesterday, my fiance gave me one of my um, anxiety meds because he had to um, take them and just monitor them for me because I had gotten myself, I had overdosed on my anxiety meds, which are also blood pressure medications. And I was just feeling really sick and out of it. And come to find out, I was taking too many um, of the blood, medication, blood pressure medications. So yesterday or the day before, I wasn't feeling too well. My anxiety was flaring up. I could feel it. So I asked my fiance today to give me one of the higher dose um, blood pressure medications. And you guys, I literally slept, I literally took a nap three times that day because of the blood pressure medication was so high. Um, I only took one. I fell asleep last night before my time. I think it was like six. It had, it had even made it to seven o'clock and I was already knocked out. So. I don't know. These are after effects of the medication because I didn't even have a full sleep last night. I couldn't even take my, I took my Ambien, but I took it when I woke up and that was around... Yeah, I think I was around one. Yeah. So, it's been a, a trial. It's been a trial. It really has. It's been a nice roller coaster of emotions. And I go back to work Thursday, my payday. So, I'm, I'm hoping that I will feel the same relief that I'm feeling at home, that I will also feel at work. Um, 
work isn't a stressful environment. It's just a lot of people that I don't know how to mesh well with different people's personalities so fast and on a daily basis. So, yeah. We shall see how that fans out um, Thursday when I go back to work. Um, I work all the way from Thursday to Friday, Saturday, and I'm off Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, then all the way back to Saturday, and I'm off Sunday and Monday. So we shall see how this plans out. But this is E.T.'s Babies, and I am signing out. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel.